I'm Andrew, I'm the director and co-writer of Snow in Paradise. Well, I've thought about directing for about 30 years. It never occurred to me that it'd be possible or that was even my career route. I was quite happy editing, actually. I am happy editing, I like editing. But what I realised was that once I'd found a story that I wanted to tell, it wasn't enough to give it to somebody else or just to write it. I had to actually make a film about it myself. Oh, my God. What the f... Dave, what... What are you doing, Dave? I don't do this shit, bruv. Calm down, we'll get the fucking call. I met Martin, the co-writer and the subject of this story, in a short film club. Uh, I started discovering bits of his life story that I just found quite compelling. We started writing together and eventually came up with an outline and then the first draft of a script. Um, and at that point, Christine, the producer, was interested in the story. You know, it's a dramatisation. It became more fictionalised, I guess, as we moved through the different drafts. It went from 100% truth to 95% fiction. Well, I, I had bits and pieces of Martin's backstory, uh, backstory, Martin's life. Um, we started with a story about someone who was a white Muslim just knocking on a door and discovering who this person was and going into their story, but actually what happened was that a white Muslim, they didn't really understand it, so we realised that we had to tell the story of how our main character becomes a Muslim in this instance. His arrogance um, it, it sort of gets in the way of somebody's life and that is the inciting incident, if you like. It propels him on the journey Can I help? on his way to become a Muslim. All right, mate. Sorry, I don't enjoy that. Man. No problem. Everyone's welcome here. All right. I ain't looking for no tell or nothing. Because I learned so much with editing about watching how directors work, um, you know, all, all their plus points and their minus points, the things they do right, the things they do wrong. And I guess in 20 years of editing, I've, I've learned how to tell stories, so I think I know what I want. It, it just didn't seem unusual, really. I mean, once I started the process, it was very unusual. I've really been pushed into areas I've never expected to go to. I've used muscles I've never, <laughs> never been used before. What have I got, cunt written on my face or what? It's like a piss a bit in the yard, like... You put me right in it. What's the matter? You got a problem? You want it in. You got a short memory, son. It's a very compelling story. One of the things that interested me about it was the fact that it is quite political. This is a guy who embraces in the Western world what is quite a castigated religion. I, I certainly felt that Islam is misportrayed um, in the media. Every time you see it, it's Islam equals terrorism, and this is not the case. People are really bored with seeing Muslims as terrorists. The worst crime is just lazy filmmaking. So we wanted to be a little bit more complex about it, I guess, and to just present a different side. So by Ruby Murray, at least. Well, no, Papa don't. It's also about how the underworld grooms people, breaks their moral compass, how, um, you know, it questions what the nature of evil is. There's many, many themes in this film. It's quite layered. We've spent a lot of time, myself and Martin, writing this and writing the layers within it. I hope that comes across.